Hey everyone, Joe here. Welcome to the channel. Today, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at two different brands of oils. The uh, Pens Oil Ultra Platinum and the Velveline Advanced. Now you'll find videos of these two brands on the internet, head-to-head uh, -head comparisons, but uh, most of the time those are just uh, lab results and I was looking for something a little more real world. Now, like I mentioned, if you do a search for oil comparisons on the internet, you'll see data on different lab tests performed. All good information, but these again are tests performed in the lab in an effort to simulate what the oil goes through inside an engine. So let me explain what I'm doing to get these real world results. Now I maintain three vehicles in my family. Take for example this Jeep Grand Cherokee that I'm getting ready to perform an oil change on. The oil in it is currently the Valvoline brand. I'm going to drain the used oil and pull a sample that I will be sent off to a lab for analysis. I did the same thing with the used oil from the previous oil change which had the Pennzoil brand in it. Both oils were changed with almost identical miles on them. Now as far as oil filters, I'm just using the OEM brand for the uh, particular make of vehicle. So Mopar for Jeep, AC Delco for GM, and Motorcraft for Ford. I'll be uh, using Blackstone Laboratories for the uh, oil analysis. Now there will be variables of course. Um, all three of these vehicles will be using the same driver throughout the duration of the test. So driving styles should be similar. Now I do live up here in the Midwest where we have four seasons. So uh, outside temperature can be, uh, can be an issue as well. And in order to eliminate that variable the best I could, I made sure that I didn't run one brand of oil in wintertime and the other brand in the summer. So that wouldn't be a very fair comparison. And since we're under here, it's a nifty little tool I bought off of Amazon. It's got a magnet on the end, attach to your drain plug like so and you can unscrew it the rest of the way. Helps uh, prevent getting the uh, hot used oil all over your hand. All right, well, this was the last uh, vehicle or oil change that I was waiting on before this uh, experiment was complete. So the only thing left to do is send that out for analysis. All right, well, I got an email alert that I have a couple uh, oil analysis reports completed. Let's take a look. Taking a closer look at this, this is the report on the Grand Cherokee. A lot of good information here. In this upper section here, these are the different elements that were found in the oil. These are pretty much what you consider your wear metals. Um, so this is actually coming from the engine. Now the elements like moly, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, and zinc, these are actually additives that the oil companies will add to their oil. And then down here at the bottom will be uh, physical properties of the oil. Um, here you will find if there's been any contaminants such as fuel, antifreeze, water, etc. So for this video, I'm mainly focused on the wear metals on the report. For example, here, aluminum, chromium, iron, copper, and so on. I'm looking to see how that engine is wearing based on the oil that we're using. So let's go ahead and 
dig into the spreadsheet here. So here we have the 2020 Jeep Grand Cherokee 3.6 liter V6 Pentastar engine, low mileage vehicle. So this first line here, this is how many miles I ran on the particular oil brand. So for the Valvoline Advanced, I ran a total of 4,070 miles. At Pennzoil Ultra Platinum, 4,012. Now normally I run my engine oil intervals between five and 6,000 miles, but I pulled this one a little short. So let's take a look at the work components, aluminum. On the Valvoline, we had four parts per million versus the Pennzoil, a three. And over here on the right column here, this is what uh, Blackstone Laboratories has found based on all the oil samples they received for this particular engine, the average of all their samples. Chromium, one, one. Iron, eight versus seven, which is considerably better than what uh, Blackstone finds as an average. Copper, again, one, one. So again, looking at the universal averages, these two oils are performing very well. Lead, 10, nickel, silver, zero. Now titanium can be a wear component and also an additive. And actually, Penzoa Ultra Platinum uses this element as an additive. Next, let's take a look at the 2019 F-150, 124,000 miles on this vehicle, 2.7 liter EcoBoost. 5,303 miles on the Valvoline, 5,187 on the Penzoa Ultra Platinum. Looking at aluminum, four versus four, iron, seven versus five. So the Penzoil did a little bit better there. But again, we are talking parts per million, much better than the universal average of 14. Copper, again, two and two. And again, we show that uh, titanium showing up under the Penzoil. Be sure to stay to the end of this video because I have a third brand of motor oil test in this vehicle as well. And lastly, we have the 2018 Chevy Trax with the 1.4 liter EcoTech, 84,000 miles on this vehicle. Looking at the aluminum, seven versus five. Chromium, zero versus one. Iron, nine versus eight. Copper, one versus zero. And then the uh, titanium show them up again. Now, just a little note, these numbers for the Valvoline are skewed a little bit. There was a contaminant of fuel, 1.5% fuel in the engine oil. I've been having an issue with this vehicle. It seems to pop up every once in a while. Not sure what's causing it. I haven't had a chance to really dig into it, but that can definitely affect the numbers. Now, there's one more oil brand that I added to the mix, and that is the Mobile One Advanced, and that is in the 2019 F-150. Now, I did do a previous video comparing all three of these brands, the Valvoline, Penzo, and Mobile One. I'll leave a link to that in the description. So let's take a look and see how the mobile one compared. Now, as I mentioned before, I try to keep the variables to a minimum. In this case, there are some differences in uh, driving conditions. The Valvoline and Penzo did have some winter driving in the mix, which resulted in some extremely cold starts. And as we all know, cold starts are a major factor in engine wear. But with that said, the mobile one was ran Later in the hotter months, where the air conditioning was probably running 80% of the time, uh, I did run this interval about 900 miles longer. And we did tow our 6,600-pound travel trailer 159 miles during this interval with the Mobile One. Taking a look at the numbers, Mobile One did pretty good in this test. So between the Valvoline and the Pennzoil, which brand performed better? Well, I'll have to get a slight edge to the Pennzoil. With that said, we are only talking one or two parts per million. And in my opinion, I'd be happy to run either brand in my vehicles. So what's next? Well, there's a lot of chatter about AMS oil on the internet. Is it that much better than oil? Well, we're going to find out. So stay tuned and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks for watching.